Welcome back, it's 619. This morning we're remembering the life and legacy of Edith Mills, also known as the great grandmother of 17's former reporter, Tabitha Mills. She passed away on Tuesday at the age of 103. Take a look at the story Tabitha did last year for Women's History Month on the legacy that she built. <laughs> oh, 100, 102? Edith Marie Mills, or Great Grandma Edie as I call her, was born December 9, 1916 in Oric, Arkansas. She was one of 11 and grew up working in the fields alongside her mother and father. A strong spiritual woman, her faith in God has never wavered. I followed the Lord all the way. She married at 19, landing in Bakersfield in 1938. Her husband left, leaving her with five children to feed. I raised them by myself. She went to work holding three to four jobs at a time just to make ends meet. You have to do what you have to do. During a time most women stayed at home to raise their children, she was working. I'd get up four o'clock in the morning and go to work. And I couldn't keep a car that would run. So she'd walk or get a ride from a neighbor, determined to provide for her family. It wasn't easy, I'll tell you, a lot of times. She says it was God who carried her through. It had to be the Lord that helped me or I never made it. She labored, picking cotton, sweeping train cars, washing laundry at San Joaquin Hospital. It wasn't easy to put food on the table, but she did. Trust in God, read your Bible, and God will carry you through the t times that you need to go through. She retired from Cal Almond at the age of 75, working longer than most ever do just to provide for her family. You keep going. You don't give up because you, because it's hard. She's the backbone of our family, and she's taught us all. You need to trust God. You need to keep on looking to God and trust Him. All right, and joining us this morning, our old friend, Tab. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I'm so sorry that this is why you're in, but what an amazing life that she lived. You know, I'm just honestly, <laughs> I knew I was going to cry. I'm blessed that I got to live um, a life with my great-grandma, that I got to know her and learn from her and uh, take her advice. It's made me who I am today. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you know, this is something that is, you know, <laughs> when you think about, this is your great-grandmother, and not a lot of people even get the opportunity to, to know their great-grandparents oh, yeah. and to, to have her around as you have grown up in, a, a, as an adult. Um, just explain kind of what that meant to you. I, you know, in a way, it was kind of normal for me. Right. And like you said, it's not normal for a lot of people. Um, but it was so special because she talked about things and taught me things, not only like, you know, her personal values and her faith in God, but also about history. I mean, she was 16 years old and rode in a covered wagon. And then here comes, wow. you know, automobiles and she when she rode in a plane she couldn't really quite understand what was keeping it up in the air I mean she saw so many things she went from like the telegraph to high-speed wireless like, you know just imagine the history that she's gone through and um, it was just truly special and everything that she stood for and everything that she instilled in us to work hard and to do your best every day and um, to be honest and to believe in God um, it really stayed with all of us because when you have a woman like that telling you like this is how you should live your life you can't help but understand and agree and say yes like when you've seen the success right yeah, there exactly so it was just wonderful to what was what do you think the best piece of advice she ever gave you was or best thing she taught you you know um well she taught us a lot honestly but the, the number one is to believe in the lord and um that always sticks in my head the the country twangy voice she had and the way she said it i can i can hear it every day and so that's certainly it I remember last year you shared her birthday wish because <laughs> she wrote a song she did. Um, and it was a beautiful gospel song and I remember her singing it 
for you uh, when you guys did that story. That must have been such a special memory for you. <laughs> yeah, it really was. And you know, she would have been 104 in December. So to be 103 writing songs, I, I mean, <laughs> she was sharp and um, she was just a marvelous woman. So Absolutely. incredible. And I have to say, you know, um, I have to give a big thank you to my great uncle Jimmy who cared for her in her final days. So a lot of us are hurting right now. You know, I was just one of her great grandkid um, children. She had many, um, and not just her grandchildren, you know, in a way, she was a grandma to a lot of people in our community. Um, I know there's a lot of ladies down at Spencer's that she went to church with who loved seeing her. And um, I know through the stories I was able to share uh -huh. here, um, that a lot of people resonated with her and, and really thought she was special. So um, she was so proud and honored to be able to, you know, call people her friend and, uh, and to be able to share her, just what she wanted to share with them, her faith in the Lord and, and just the, the spirit to keep going. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's just special. Yeah, and you know, she was a, just by what you have shared with us, you know, I can tell she was a big staple in your great family. And I know that this is a, you talk about a, a life, 103, uh, that is unbelievable. But I know that you're obviously going to miss her greatly. Yeah, you know, um, uh, it was, it's hard to lose her, yeah. but she lived such a blessed life yeah. and she lived a long life and um, her faith never wavered. You saw her story, all the, all the highs and lows she had. and. Um, we know she is in the right hands now. Absolutely. You, you have an incredible family, a huge family. It's, it's like you're related to almost everybody in Bakersfield. <laughs> so I understand what you're saying about Grandma Edie being a grandma to so many others as well. And you, I loved um, working with you and hearing all the amazing stories of the strong women in your family. Yeah. So many of them. And, you know, it shows in you as well. It's, um, it's an honor, right? Yeah. It's an honor to be able to learn from them, to grow and carry on their legacy and share what they've shared with me uh, to other people, uh, other generations. So beautiful. And we thank you for sharing her legacy with us. It, yeah. was, it was my pleasure and I know she loved it. <laughs> Absolutely. And our prayers for your uh, family right thank now. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back after this.